All right. So it says it's recording and it says that I am live. Okay. So if you're watching me live on YouTube right now, this is a Sam Live Production Tips and Tools. And I'm actually watching uh, and testing this new platform called EV Max. Now I'm going to actually go to my timer and see now it's been eight minutes already. Okay. So I'm actually going to go to my YouTube channel and see if I'm actually live, right? So let's actually go here to my YouTube channel. Um, it's just going to go here, uh, go to go live. Um, oh. Okay, so it looks like I am actually live on YouTube now and I have few people watching. Well, if you guys watching, actually, welcome to the live stream. This is a surprise live stream. I'm actually testing this new platform called EV Max. So I'm actually going to go back to EV Max here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to share my screen as well. So this is... Um, uh, yep, I'm going to try to share my screen so you guys see what I'm doing. So uh, I've got my screen right now, and I'm going to actually add my screen on the stream right now. Okay, and I'm going to choose maybe this one right here. And I'm going to go to my um, my page. So this is what my page looks like. Okay, again, if you guys are watching uh, here on YouTube, please let me know. Okay, let me know what you think. Uh, again, I'm live. I'm not sure what my audio sounds like. This is just a test. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to go to my, um, to my, um, my back end, um, and just actually check out uh, the stream, see what it looks like. Okay, in the back end of YouTube. Okay, so right now it says the connection is excellent. Okay, so what I can do now, I can go back here. Is actually this is good because you can see that the stream has been created. So because I really didn't have a way to add the thumbnail and more customization uh, in back in EV Max. Okay, I think if you were to do this, you actually have to go maybe schedule it. Okay. And then go back in here, actually open the stream here, okay? And then from here, I can actually uh, click edit, okay? So I'm going to go here and actually click edit. And what I can do, I can actually add stuff like a thumbnail and stuff like that. So I'm going to go here and add to a playlist. So I'm going to go to YouTube tips and... Um, live streams obviously done okay and i'm going to actually add a thumbnail uh so I'm probably gonna i think i have a generic thumbnail um I'm just gonna add this one okay live streaming tools and i'm just gonna save so now as you can see now i'm live okay and I'm actually going to see how many people. Just gonna open my laptop a little quick just to be able to monitor uh, people who are watching right now. Okay, but I can go ahead and actually hide the screen so you guys don't have to see everything right now. But if you're watching live, let me know where you're watching from. Again, this is a test. Uh, I'm testing the EV Max. Now, it took me about 10 minutes to actually go live so right now i have a clock it's about 12 minutes okay so uh but right now i'm live on facebook and yes uh sorry on youtube <laughs> yes guys i'm using this uh ev max platform uh i can't listen to my audio unfortunately so i would love to know if you are in the chat just let me know what it sounds like okay um but it looks like I, mean, I can see the signal. The signal looks good um, from a microphone. 
and um, obviously I'm using my ATEM Mini, so I have just one, uh, my ATEM Mini Pro, so just one angle, nothing really fancy. Um, let's see, um, this is my screen. Again, doesn't look so good when you're trying to watch yourself, you know, watching yourself because because of this weird effect. But this is what it looks like really, um, you know, I can go ahead, um, you know, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and actually add some uh, some pre um, pro scenes, okay, in here, which would be even like, they're going to actually give you more options. You know, let's say if I wanted to add a pro scene here, as you can see, I can add um, a, you know, break screen, um, I can add speakers so I can add if I had somebody who wanted to join, I can actually add somebody a scene where, you know, just customize, create a pre, a pre, uh, pro, a pro scene here, you know, with multiple people. I have countdowns here. I have welcome screens and stuff like that for the pro scenes. Now here I have an option to, um, just do it quick. Just going to start my uh, stream on my laptop just to see what it looks like live, honestly. Um, just to be able to monitor myself. By the way, guys, I did not know I was going to go live. So this is my first test with EV Max. Everything is raw. This is my first impression. I have a timer. Uh, and I'm actually timing myself uh, just to see how long it will take me to actually go live. I want to see how easy it is. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, yeah, this, this stream quality looks like it's actually 1080p, which is good. And yeah. So um, let's see what else we got. We got socials, okay? So I can go here to banners, okay? Then let's go ahead and actually create a banner and say, um, this is, this banner, okay? test let's see so i can make it as a ticker and then create and then it's ready for me so let me click show oh see it works so i can remove my screen right now so you guys can see uh this is like how fast you can create a banner okay which is awesome um Oh, we got some people in the chat. Guys, let me know. I'm testing a new platform called EV Max right now. Okay, so let me know in the chat where you're watching from. Uh, if you have questions, okay, this is like my first impressions. I have never used this platform. So everything I'm saying is actually I'm getting it in real time. I'm trying to experiment with different uh, stuff here. Uh, so let me know in the chat what you think. Let me know if you like the... Uh, what it sounds like because I'm using my microphone, my USB microphone, no effects, no uh, tweaking or anything. All right. And I was actually, I timed myself. It took, it took me about 10 minutes to actually go live. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm actually going to make a video as we speak right now. I'm, a, I'm actually recording a video that I'm going to publish uh, afterwards. So I'm going to edit it and publish it. But at the same time, I'm actually live. So let's see. We got a few people in the chat here. Uh, we got uh, Kojo, Kojo. Um, let's see, Kojo. Yeah, see, I'm actually able to show your comments as well. So Kojo says, I'm Joel from Ghana. It's clear. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Kojo, for joining. I appreciate you. I say, uh, Kojo says, great work. All right, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Again, this is just a live testing, guys. Um, nothing like you can see my camera is even, it's not even color graded because usually I color grade my camera just to make sure it looks good. But um, I mean, this is what it looks like. 
Uh, so I'm actually able to show your comments. So let me go back, actually share my screen so guys, so you guys can see. Um, let me see if I can, no, not this. So these are different ways that you can actually show your screen, okay? Um, so you can see, if you can see here, this is like my, this is where I see your comments coming in, right? So if you want to show, highlight a comment, you can go here, right? So I can see all your comments coming in. So I can go ahead and actually click, boom, so I can show your comment. Uh, Kojo, thank you so much for joining this morning, you know, so you guys can see all the comments. Again, I hate the tunnel effect, you know, uh, it's because obviously, um, you know, it's because I'm showing the same screen that I'm using to live stream. So you guys, I hope you understand. Uh, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. Uh, you can see all this stuff. Now, let me go back to, so we have the the layers here, okay? To be able to use the layers here, you actually need to be uh, using the pro scenes, okay? Now, to use graphics, the second tab here is uh, graphics. Basically, uh, I can choose um, the theme for graphics, okay? So let me actually, let's say, if I go to this theme right here, you can see that um, your, um, um, you can see that uh, the way the uh, the lower third appears is actually different, okay? And then I can go to rounded here. You can see now it's changing. Uh, I can go to um, rounded two. Okay, this is another theme. Rounded three, okay? And I can actually go here to primary color, okay? And I can actually change the color to something different okay so as you can see i have access to the whole rgb wheel okay so let's say uh for my branding i usually use something like orange ish maybe let's try orange i try to use orange and blue and as you adjust or you change colors you can see that they're actually showing you um the um they're actually showing you the examples of what you're gonna get, all right? So uh, let's see, okay, okay. So let's go to the logo. Now for the logo, you need to upgrade to be able to add your own logo, which makes sense, right? Overlay, uh, I can go ahead and actually add an overlay. I think I have some overlays here. Obviously this is just a test. So let me go ahead and actually, uh, let me, see do a guess okay this is one overlay okay that i have already pre-made uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to use it um clips okay let's actually go ahead and test the overlay so i'm gonna have to change to this this is assuming i had like two guests i mean one guess me and another, and another guest so let me go ahead and actually try the overlay and see if it works yeah, it's, it's not bad. I just need to choose the right. Um, hmm, okay, I don't like this. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, so my overlay is not really made for this. So I would have to create a different overlay um, for sure. But you guys have an idea. You can see that it's actually it's because the over uh, the overlay was not created for specifically for this kind of look, you know. But you can see that it's actually working. So I can go ahead and actually hide it. And video clips, you can go here and actually upload the video clip if you want to play it. And then let's go to background as well. Um, yeah, so I can go ahead and actually add a background. Uh, let's say let me try this overlay. Uh, kind of use it as a background and see if it will actually work. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So I can use this as a background. It's just an example. Oh, I think I have another background actually that I can use here. So let me go to my desktop. Um, triangle. Um, Thing is this one 
yeah let's use this one so there we go so i got my background in okay and let me go to socials and actually remove the the um the comment and if i go back to uh i can change uh different layouts uh, okay so this is another layout again i don't have anyone if i had a guess it would actually be very very easier and i can go to this one doesn't change anything this one okay uh for screen sharing this is actually perfect or oh, this one this is another one that i kind of like for screen sharing or this one so i mean guys this is really what it looks like okay uh you can go to local video so if i had a video locally that i could actually play let me see um let me actually try this local video and see what i will get from this local video hmm. this is interesting Um, let me go ahead and grab and grab a video from a ma from my desktop. Uh, video. All right, let me get this one and see what happens. okay so okay so i just uploaded a local video and actually appears here down below as a scene um so if i was to add it to the stream let's see what happens it's uh, actually let me click to it and see what happens show you how to build a hybrid home youtube studio simply because Wait. i know how hard it it's may be especially though. when you're starting out so personally by the time i actually record this video it's been over a year so basically i started in 2021 doing yeah, youtube and i've actually been working on my live yeah. streaming and it's video editing lucky. setup specifically for youtube and you know i thought i would actually make this quick video just to show you all the steps and all the things that i went through and at the same time i want to give you some of my tips everything that i have actually been learning so let's not take much time let's get right into it what's up guys my name is sam La production tips and tools here if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's navigate so i just removed it from uh just removed the video the video is was playing but it's kind of laggy so i don't know if i have to give it a little bit of time to kind of load um but it's it's laggy uh it's kind of lagging and i don't like it okay um so that's that uh probably maybe uh obviously again you're playing a video through a browser so maybe that's why this is something and maybe i will actually talk to ev max uh if they actually have a solution for this but let me try again and play and see the live streaming and video recording world together so starting a youtube channel or any content creation journey it may be actually overwhelming regardless of any experience you may have uh, before you actually get started personally i started i was a videographer before and i thought i had it and guess what it was really hard to actually even to get to record my very first video it was out of focus i was struggling it took me like two hours to set up my lights and my cameras and everything simply because it was actually something new to me i never been in front of a camera before and i never actually got to feel right 
so um so guys that that feature for me it's it doesn't work uh unless maybe unless you have to play maybe 1080p i mean 720p video um but so far uh i mean yeah so far the rest of the stream looks good uh the audio looks good um again i'm gonna have to listen to it after the stream so and actually be able to uh, give you more uh, insights, okay? But let me actually go back to, let me show you the screen right now. I'm just gonna go back to, to the graphics here and then I'm gonna change my, um, so these are my graphics, my banner. Just gonna change it to something like, um testing easy max live testing Let's say join me Please leave a comment. Um, say, yep, yeah. say, please leave a comment, and I'm going to update. All right, so this is, um, yeah, so the graphics, the banner is updated. And let me see, I think I've got another message. So I'm gonna go back. To Here we go. So, uh, so this is what it looks like, guys. Uh, this has been the EV Max testing. Okay. Um, what I can do, I can go to just add myself back to the uh, to the stream. Yeah. So, so guys, this is why. I mean, this is what you can do. So, so far, uh, I love the graphics. Uh, this is just the simple uh, way to actually use this platform. Now, they have so many other features like the, the pro scenes, the ability to actually bring in guests and actually be able to have some sort of talk back so you can talk to a guest while you guys are live. So like, like, you know, um, you know, like off, off the stage kind of thing which is awesome so they have so many so many many cool features and i feel like what they're doing they're actually solving three specific problems okay so the first problem they are actually solving is actually the pricing okay so if i go to the ev max pricing let me show you just a little quick okay um you can see that um let me just make sure I'm sharing the screen. So if I go to the EV Max um, pricing, you can see with the free plan, you're getting unlimited streaming. Okay, this is zero dollars, guys. This is what I'm using right now to stream. So you're getting unlimited streaming hours. You're getting uh, AV Max pre-scene uh, builder, okay? So you can customize your scenes, you know, make sure they look, you know, the way you want with some overlays and stuff like that, which is like something like OBS, basically. It's like, you know, you can add your overlays, create some customized, you know, customizable kind of looks and stuff like that. Uh, you have up to uh, 12 on-screen participant which is awesome so you can have up to 12 guests 
uh, fully branded overlay and backgrounds. So basically all the lower thirds, uh, backgrounds, all the graphics, you get full HD, which is awesome. Like guys, that's, like right now I'm streaming in full HD and I only have the free plan. And then you get um, to stream to up to five destinations, okay? And you got the lower thirds, obviously, the banners, the tickers, which is why you guys have can see that I'm, I have a ticker already. Uh, I have, you have integrated chats, which is like, you know, the ability to bring in messages. I'm able to actually show you guys, you can see that I'm able to actually display your messages. And we got the custom RTMP. So to be able to stream to some platforms like, you know, uh, you know, if you stream on like Amazon Live or Facebook groups and stuff like that, you could do, you could do that. This is 100% free. The only thing on the free plan, you're basically getting everything except you're going to get the EV Max logo uh, on your screen. If you don't mind the EV Max logo, I mean, that's like a free streaming platform for you. Now, if you want to actually look more professional, you can go ahead and actually go with the basic plan, which is uh, $19 per month. Okay. So the reason why I say they are kind of trying to solve a, sp a specific problem uh of pricing is because if i go to streamyard which is another uh, browser this is like the most popular actually uh browser based uh streaming platform right now you can see for 20 dollars you can't even stream in full hd only getting 720p all right so for you to get full hd you kind of have to go with this higher professional plan which is 39 dollars per month so that's why I'm like, because most people who could not afford, especially they say, even if you can afford it, but if you don't stream that often, you probably can't justify paying $40 a month. Now, if you can justify that, streaming out is great, obviously. But if you can't justify to actually stream um, in, you know, you know, afford $40 a month, uh, you could actually pay $20 and you're actually getting 1080p full HD, custom RTMP, like this platform will actually beat StreamYard, like really 100% is actually uh, beating StreamYard, okay? So now, uh, the next, um, the next, the next, the next problem they are actually solving is the, um, the stream quality, okay? Obviously, they are providing 1080p, okay? on their free plan, 1080p, that's really awesome. And on their $20 plan, they're, provides, they're still providing 1080p, all right? So now let's see, I think we get a comment uh, from Kojo say, what are some of the differences you've noticed so far uh, as compared to vMix? Okay, so if you compare this to vMix, obviously the first difference is vMix is locally installed in your computer. So vMix, first of all, the first thing you're gonna have to, you're gonna need a powerful computer, right? Because uh, it's going to be installed in your computer while the EV Max platform is actually a browser-based platform. So you don't need to install anything in your computer. You simply need uh, a Chrome browser, so basically, you know, Google Chrome, and then you're good to go, right? So it's, it's running through a browser. It's running through the browser. Uh, and uh, the good thing about it is you don't need to have a super powerful computer because basically everything is being processed through their uh, servers, okay? So that's really the main big difference. Uh, as far as switching scenes, uh, playing back videos and stuff like that, obviously, uh, let's say if you're trying to play back some videos from your computer, I just did a quick test. It didn't really pass the test because uh, the video was laggy. It's because the reason is you're playing videos, but the video is kind of playing back through a browser. So it's being uploaded and then, you know, kind of being played back through a browser. So that's not really, uh, I would say it's not, the best platform so far to do those kind of things. Uh, but I've seen, actually, I've seen some live streams from the EV Max uh, official channel. I've seen them actually playing back some videos. I'm sure there's a way to do it. 
but on that uh on that um on that particular um uh, subject i would say vmix is gonna be the best for playing back media and stuff like that but as far as like you know uh the ease of use uh streaming on multiple platforms um yeah streaming on multiple platforms uh i think the ev max ev max platform is actually winning obviously it's gonna be easier and the fact obviously the fact that you can't uh bring in you can bring in guests okay for vmix it's kind of uh, a little hard to bring in guests and i think you have some sort of limit so that's why so i would say again if you stream on youtube you know if you're a content creator uh and you want to stream on multiple platforms and you don't have a super powerful computer i think this is gonna be awesome can you add multiple cameras yes and no okay now i have another camera right now so if i wanted to add a different angle what i would do let me just go ahead and turn on my uh, second camera. But because I'm using my ATEM Mini as a switcher, so my camera is connected through the ATEM Mini. So now what I can do, I can actually switch to camera two and uh, be able to actually show you a different angle. Okay, this is just my desk. It's a little messy, but that's how you can actually add a second camera. If you want to add a second camera through the platform itself, uh, I mean, they say that the feature is coming, but they don't have it yet. They're gonna add the Stream Deck support as well. They are still, this is just, I think it's like three, four months old platform they just launched. So it looks promising, but I feel like the there's so many features they're actually adding and you know saying they're going to add. They're not here yet, but if the way they describe uh, the way it's supposed to be, you know, if, you know, it happens, it really happens the way they say it's supposed to be, I think this is going to be an amazing platform. But so far for simple streaming, guys, I mean, I'm live right now and it looks like it's working. Um, have, you know, comments coming in, I can show comments and stuff like that, um, which is awesome. I can... It was so easy for me to go live. It took me about eight minutes to kind of have everything set up and actually go live on YouTube, which is awesome. So I I think the platform has a future. Um, it was easy to add a microphone and my camera feed, obviously. Man, I can invite guests right now, but, you know, obviously I don't have anyone to invite right now. <laughs> I feel like everybody's at. So actually um maybe sleeping i mean depending on where you are in the world but um yeah so i mean guys i'm live i love the ev max the i love the the interface the user interface looks really good i like the dark uh version of the interface itself because you know as i, I use obs i use premiere pro so as a video producer um you know editor i'm always working in the dark uh you know with dark themes and stuff like that so i love the dark turn uh, theme obviously um and i love the pro scenes because you can actually add multiple uh you know customization which is awesome uh graphics banners um you know overlays and stuff like that you know you, you you could add multiple speakers you could add people that actually if you have a producer you can have somebody actually produce your show remotely so if you're not tech savvy or you want somebody to kind of take over a show you know somebody can actually manage your show and you be just a speaker you know they will take care of you know switching and sharing screens and switching between different scenes so it's kind of promising and they are actually working on uh, a lot of stuff right now. Um, I mean, I had the one of the AV Max uh, team members, I think was a few weeks ago on the show. So if you want to check them out, check check out the live stream is actually uh, one of my live, my past live streams. So you can actually go ahead and actually listen to the conversation and go ahead and check out the EV Max YouTube channel as well. They have so much uh, information 
on their platform, on their YouTube channel. Uh, you know, they go in depth and actually explain everything that EV Max can do. But, you know, guys, other than that, I'm actually live right now on YouTube testing EV Max. Uh, this has been a very, very quick test, first impression uh, of EV Max. So I'm actually, again, I'm actually recording right now uh, a video that I'm going to publish uh, later, just giving you my first impressions, uh, you know, my thoughts, what I think about the platform. But so far, um, so far, I, I'm I'm impressed looking at, you know, what I have right now. It was easy to go live. Um, I kind of don't like the, you know, this lower third kind of thing. I kind of keeps showing my name. So I wish there was a way to actually change it. So you guys can see, like, it keeps showing Sam and live production tips and tools. So let me go to graphics, maybe see if there's a way to actually change it. And I don't like it because it's kind of distracting. You know, why would you keep showing my name? But I'm sure there's a way to actually remove it. So we get somebody in the chat. Who's this? Who's this? Let me see. Uh, see. Okay. Bariba. Say it came late. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. This was just a surprise uh, live stream. I did not plan it. Uh, I was just recording a video about AV Max, and I wanted to showcase what it will look like, uh, what you can do with it. So, yeah, I mean, this is a new platform again, guys. So I like to taste things before I can recommend it to people. Uh, and I'm um, actually, so far, I like, you know, I like the fact that it's easy to go live. Again, I timed myself. It took me about eight minutes to actually go live, which is awesome. Uh, it's so easy to add your microphone, to add guests. I wish I had actually a guest that I could actually send a link to. Because if I go to my, um, let's see. Um, so let me just show you a little quick, just to show you the screen right now. So I can go here to, to invite guest right here. Um, no, right here. So I can click here. And as you can see, I get this link to, to actually uh, invite somebody. So I can simply copy and then I can, I can, I could email it to people, which is awesome. Um, yeah. And then I'll be able to have somebody actually join me on the stream. And actually, I think next time I'm going to go live again with EV Max again, depending on how I'm going to like it. Because after the stream, guys, I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and actually listen to, to the stream itself and, you know, see if it sounds good. I'm very, very picky with audio. So see if it sounds good and actually looks good. So, but yeah, but this is easy. So I can email the link to somebody. Uh, if there was somebody actually in the chat who wanted to join me, I would actually, I wouldn't mind uh, actually dropping the link and I would, um, uh, I would actually send it to you guys for, you know, one of you guys to join. I wouldn't mind actually doing that. So, you know, but anyways, next time I'm going to plan it. So, so far, the only problem that I had was uh, trying to play back uh a video a local video okay which is something that, that i'm going to actually address to ev max i'm in their uh, facebook group so i'm going to address it because i have you guys can see there's a tab here um so i can remove a video here because i have added a video so uh, i have a video that i loaded so i'm going to actually I loaded a video from my computer and I tried to play it back. So I'm going to actually play it again and see if it works. Um, just a little quick. So let me go back to this and uh, to oh, myself because I was used to filming other people. So, you know, it took me time and actually I've been learning some lessons as I kept creating content and even my studio that I'm going to be showing you guys today that I actually use to edit videos. 
So still a problem. So that's something I would say maybe if you max will work on. Again, this is a long video. This is like 20 minutes video. It could be that. Okay. So that's the only problem that I have right now. Let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. So you can see it's so easy to actually um, show comments. Okay. But another thing I think I would love to see the lower third uh, you see how I'm, I'm showing your comments the, or the chat overlay be a little smaller or if there's a way I can customize it, make it kind of go down a little bit because I feel like it's kind of hiding my face unless I go to this look, you know. So I'm sure there's a way to do it with the Pro Scenes uh, Builder. But um, let me see. Okay, I like this. Um let me show you guys what I'm doing here. So, yeah, so with the Pro, Sin Pro Scenes Builder, I'm sure there's a way actually that I can customize all the graphics and make sure they are uh, in places where I actually want them to be. So, media file there we go so um yeah so let me see if i can you guys can see my screen I don't know what you can see, what you, what you are seeing right now. <clears throat> but anyways, um, let me go back to your comments, uh, see what you guys are saying. Saying, thanks, Sam, for your explanation. I do appreciate that. No worries, my man. Uh, let's see. I've got another comment here. Uh, the, the church talk say, I just love this platform. Yeah, I'm glad you actually love it because I love it too, okay? But before I actually recommend it 100%, I'm taking time to test it for you guys. So again, if you guys have been using it and you have good feedback about it, let me know, put in the chat. It's always good to help the community. Um, Let's see. This space is really getting crowded now, but this is great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree. We have so many players right now. Um, but I feel like EV Max is actually bringing something new, okay? As long as what they say or they promise can actually be done, I feel like the platform is actually awesome, you know? So right now, uh, let me show you guys what I'm doing right now, okay? Now I'm using the Pro Scenes Builder, okay? So if you can see my screen a little quick, um, now I have two, two, uh, two different tabs, okay? So I have my live tab that you guys can see here, and I have a preview uh, tab or monitor, okay? So basically I can create a few things in here, okay? So let's say um, if I go, I switch to pro scenes okay you guys can see i have a blank screen here okay again i'm learning as we go so <laughs> this is completely new to me okay and i'm gonna be making a lot of videos obviously about this but if i go to layers you guys can see all your comments here okay and then i go to banners uh i can create a new banner I already have one, so I can hide it or show it, all right? And But this scene right now is the one that is live, okay? So let's actually go ahead and create a new scene. So let's go ahead and create a new scene. Let's go from empty, okay? So this is my scene number one. This is my scene number two. Um, and then I can go here and actually add layers 
Okay, I have media, text, dynamic uh, caption, media files, slideshows, uh, remote guests, speakers, and so on, so on. So let's go to speakers. And uh, if you click to speakers, then you can send an invitation. If I go to text, uh, I can create anything that I want here. So let me create something actually. So let me say, um, you can uh, choose from different, um, different phones. So let's say live production tips and tools. Uh, Uh, double click to edit. Okay, so say live. Live production tips and tools. All right. So I could uh customize this like this okay and then maybe have it somewhere uh let's say somewhere um maybe somewhere here you know i can have it somewhere here and i can go to socials actually Take it away, you know, this is something that I can take away and I can go to banners and um, yeah, just turn it off maybe for this specific scene. So I can have like production tips and tools here and I can go to graphics. Uh, obviously you're not gonna be able to add logos and stuff like that. You can add some video clips, which is something I'm not going to do because I had issues actually playing back some video uh, clips. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can actually have a video clip uploaded. We've got people in the chat. Um, welcome to the live stream. I'm actually testing live this platform called EV Max. Okay, so uh, we got Koju, now we got uh, Mas Mastivini Media Solution. Hey, some greetings from Zimbabwe. Thank you so much, man, for joining. So as you can see, it's uploading the video. Uh, again, my videos are high quality, so maybe that's why it's taking time. Okay, and then I got backgrounds. I got a few backgrounds here. So... Let's see if I click show um, banners, socials, chat. Oh, so this is where you can actually talk to somebody. If you had a guest, I can we can have like a group chat kind of thing. All right. So that's pretty much okay. So now let's go ahead and actually add another layer. Uh, dynamic caption, maybe not. Media files, slideshow, uh, speaker. So speaking of speaker, the only speaker we have here is me. So I'm going to add myself as a speaker. So as you can see, I can customize the way I look. So I can even like customize my picture or I can have myself in the corner here. So I can, if I had another guest, I can add the multiple speakers. Um, so because right now it's only one speaker. Okay. So this is kind of cool. You know, this is kind of cool because you can customize and make it look, you know, something that, you know, something like OBS. Like, as you can see, guys, I can crop it. So I could crop my picture to something like this, you know. So look, guys, this is like OBS. <laughs> so this is what they say guys so as you can see i just cropped my picture i can put it here all right and then let me see it says lower third whoa 
Whoa, what is this? Whoa. So I can even customize delay before start. Position. Whoa, 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 whoa. Change type. Whoa, look at these guys. Look at this. Wow. Look at these these the waters. Okay, let me try this one. Okay. Wow. Size set color. So this is a type of lower third. And once you're done. Okay. How do I click? Okay, when I'm done. So got my settings for lower third. Okay. I can have it here, change the position to be in the middle or here on the left side, on the right side. Wow, guys, look at this. Show logo. Now I don't have a logo because uh, I'm not using the pro. I mean, I'm not, I'm not on the paid version of it. So you can see now I have the lower third. That looks awesome. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to this. Um, so let me let me say if I was to put myself somewhere here. Okay, actually, this text probably don't even need it, but this is just an example. Okay. So I could actually go ahead and go to layers um and go to layers and go back and add um a background no go to graphics and i'm gonna add this background right here hold on hold on hold on no this overlay how I how how do I add the overlay on this thing? Okay, let's see if I show my overlay. Because so if I had a guest, guys, if I had a guest, I would have the second guest here and the third guest here. So instead of being dependent uh, on uh, you know on this pre-made. Um, layouts okay i could create my own layouts which is awesome this is like obs in a browser now i get it when they say oh this is obs in a browser i see what they mean because this is awesome this is awesome guys i'm gonna be making more and more videos about ev max actually i am super super um excited about this platform okay i hope they get it right because so far what they have man it's awesome it's really good. So uh, anyways, so whatever, this is what we get. So whenever you're ready, I can actually transition. So you can build, if you have a producer, you can build all this stuff ahead of time, or you can build it live if you have a producer. And whenever you're ready, I can just send it to live and boom. You know, I mean, it doesn't look that awesome because it's not complete. But you guys can see, I can add a few overlays here. Oh, let's go ahead and actually add this. I don't know why the overlay is not showing. Um, screen share. Sorry, guys. Um, so let me go ahead and add maybe a media file. And yeah, there we go. So see, this is what I wanted. Now, instead of it's not an overlay, it's just a media file, okay? Now, what I could do is I can go to, I can go back to speaker, okay? No, go back to layers, back, and click this one, and then I can customize it, make sure it's actually feeding my overlay so 
you can see guys this is something that i did in obs uh for obs for my for my obs streaming okay <laughs> yo this is awesome so you can see now if i had a guest i would actually create a custom uh a custom overlay okay like in obs basically and uh, obviously this overlay this uh, lower third it doesn't look good because i already have my lower third here my name in you know live production tips and tools and stuff you know but uh, let me see actually if there's a way to duplicate this uh dimensions magic animation oh let's click to magic animation and see what it does whoa i even have transparency wow um if i click to my layer and this is a text uh i believe the text is now hey, see you can actually even click to a layer and hide it you can see i had the text and say show or hide boom so and now i can send it to live boom wow so i know i'm missing somebody here i don't have a guest right now um but let's say for what i add the new layer and then add the remote guest i don't have a remote guest add the speaker so the only speaker i have is me so which is uh i wish i had somebody um let's see add the layer media file slideshow guest speaker screen share yeah again guys i only have one speaker so that's so bad let's see what you guys are saying in the chat um again i can go back to actually oh you guys can couldn't see the screen share um Can you guys see the screen share? No, you can't. I have to go back to dynamic scenes for you guys. Wow, this is even better because now I can see, boom. So I can show you guys what I was doing. Uh, so basically, this is like the pro scenes. This is where you do the OBS stuff, all right? So I can kind of like create custom uh if you guys can see i can create custom overlays or layers okay so you create a pro scene here you can go to layers and then as you click add layer so you can see i have a layer this is my duo guest overlay and then i have my uh, me as a speaker and i have a sample text that's not showing right now but i can click and click show and uh, it will show just click hide so this these are like a lot of things that you can do with this platform um i mean uh, this is like you have the easy way of doing things and you have the complicated way like obs kind of way to do things complex too many features um again i can go back to the usual simple streaming way so i kind of like it um uh, because uh let me just go myself back to the stream there we go so i kind of like it um so again i'm going to end the stream right now but i uh, just want to say a few things before i actually end let me see you guys have been sending comments sorry i haven't been ignoring you guys because i'm kind of overwhelmed by this platform so we got uh the building sh uh, sheriff say looking good thank you so much for joining uh does it integrate with stream deck no as of now no it doesn't but i actually uh, i'm in their facebook group so they actually say that they are working on it so this is like three four months old platform guys uh 
So they're working on those features, you know, uh, like uh, obviously with the precincts, it would be great to have um, precincts, pro scenes, sorry. With the pro scenes builder, it would be awesome actually to have it work with the Stream Deck, all right? So yes, they're working on it. It's not there yet, um, but yes, it's coming, hopefully. Uh, I say, uh, hey, Sam, greetings from Zimbabwe. Thank you, man, for joining. Uh, I'm loving this. Yes, I love it too. Um, the stream is kind of blurring out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a red flag. I don't like that. <laughs> you know me, so I don't know why. Uh, my internet connection is supposed to be good, okay? Because let me check my internet speed. Let's speed test uh, just to give you an idea, guys. So you know it's not my internet connection. If it's a platform that has a problem, it needs to be addressed, okay? Not going to be nice with EV Max. They're promising great stuff, so I want them to deliver, okay? I love what they're delivering right now. Uh, I love what I see. I love the user interface. So right now, my internet speed is full, 44.2 uh, mega, megabits uploads, uh, megabits per second upload speed and 81.8 megabits per second download. So that should be more than enough to actually hold the stream stable. So I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. But again, this is something that I'm going to address to EV Max and see if it's it's an EV Max problem or if it's coming from me. Uh, but other than that, um, guys, I do. Um, it looks like I'm going to actually end the stream. This was just a quick live streaming test using EV Max. Uh, so far, so far, so good. Uh, overall, my first impression my experience with ev max first i was able to go live with no issues okay it was so easy to go live it was actually again the only problem that i had i couldn't add a thumbnail and all the customization which i think would be better if you're going to if you are going to go live with ev max i would suggest you you schedule the stream within ev max you create the stream you schedule it, don't go live, just schedule it, and then go to YouTube Studio uh, in your back end and actually upload, you know, all the juicy stuff that you usually do, your description. You could still do the description back in EV Max, but I would say it's better to do your thumbnail, description, add to playlist, all the stuff back in YouTube Studio. Make sure it looks good. And then uh, whenever you're ready to go live, you just go back to EV Max and actually click go live okay second it was so easy to actually add my microphone add my camera it was so easy again you cannot have multiple cameras as of now i would suggest if you want to use multiple cameras use an external encoder or switcher so that's something like the atem mini pro which is something that i'm using right now so i can switch to my overhead camera so you guys can see my second camera by simply switching on my atem mini pro third uh, I would say um, it's easy. I can, you know, easily brand, uh, you know, just bring in comments, chats. You know, I can easily, easily, like, you guys can see all the comments that, you know, you are sending to me. So, like, I got a comment from player right now. Say hi, hi, thanks for joining. So, it's so easy to bring in comments, graphics, banners. You know, like, the ease of use from these platforms that we are used to, like StreamYard and Melon, we have it in EV Max. But on the top of that, you actually get the Pro Scenes Builder, which is another awesome tool that you can actually build multiple, uh, you know, layouts, you know, uh, you know, just have guests, you know, screen sharing, you know, the way you want, add graphics, add logos, add banners, add whatever you want. And it just looks so good because now if you want to be creative, you could do that. So you have the ease of use and you have the creative side where you can actually add multiple, uh, you know, layouts and make it look the way you want. You know, be yourself, you know, kind of, you know, show show off a little bit. You know what I mean? So I like that. 